Hey y'all, I'm Jessie Harry and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos. Anyways, let's get into this week's grocery haul. Hello everyone and welcome to another grocery haul. So today's haul is from Kroger and Aldi. It's a pretty big haul. I bought some more um, like fun foods because it's uh, going to be my son's first week of summer break so I wanted to have a few things on hand I mean he's been here but we, we don't like we don't let him have cereal so normally because you know just we have meat more like whole foods in the morning so I bought like just some different things that he normally wouldn't have so it would make it feel more like summer break since we stuff in the house <laughs> so anyways this grocery haul cost about 206 dollars mostly because like I said I bought some more fun stuff um the normal and I bought like ice cream even though we didn't need any but I think everyone was kind of getting tired of what we had I know terrible mother buying stuff wasting stuff all that stuff but whatever anyways so let's get into it so first of all we have some green onions if you watch my grocery hauls you know I probably get these every single time I love green onions, um, even if a recipe doesn't call for it, especially if it's like an Asian dish. I'm going to sprinkle green onions on it. I like it on my eggs. I like it on everything. Uh, we have two cucumbers. And then we have, I saw these. Um, they're new. They say they're new. Um, but they're loaded cones. Um, so I got strawberry shortcake. This was the last strawberry shortcake, so happy I got it. And uh, s'mores. So these look amazing, and I can't wait to try them. All right, sorry about that. I had to go put the ice cream up because it was starting to melt a little bit from my drive home because it's real hot here. Um, okay, so then we have two mangoes. These are not quite ripe yet, but they look like they were going to be ripe soon. I hate cutting mangoes, but I love the flavor of them. So we got two mangoes. And then so here I got two things of these cinnamon toast crunches. And then this eight pack of different kinds of cereals um oh, that one's pops so my son really likes that crave cereal i've never bought it but um like when he goes and spends time with his grandparents and stuff like they get it for him you know because that's just like his fun little treat or whatever um but cereal ends up going bad in our house since we don't eat it all the time um so i've had these little boxes so we can just eat them one at a time i thought they'd be really fun he hasn't seen them yet but hopefully he's excited about it and doesn't think i got lame flavors Chimay. Uh, so we've got some bacon. I always like to keep bacon on hand. Oh, and then I've got these puff pastry bites. These are from Aldi. Um, if you have not had these before, you should, and you like flavors like these, you should get these. These are really, I think they're like six dollars for tax. They're so good. I buy them a lot of times around the holidays. Uh, to have out as appetizers during the day um, while I'm cooking, so the family isn't like trying to kill each other before dinner's ready. And by family, I mean me, because I'm a hangry person. These are really good. I almost didn't get them, and I was just like, whatever, party, summer vacation. So these are going to be really good. We'll probably just have, like, during the weekend or whenever I'll freeze them. Obviously, they're freezer. Um, all right, so if you saw my last grocery haul, you saw that I got these three-minute microwave pizzas, um, but I got cheese and, like, combination meats. My son really liked the cheese. He won't eat the combination meats. They didn't have the cheese this time. They had pepperoni and he'll like pepperoni. I got three of those. They're just Kroger brand. He says they're good. Two things of eggs. We've been getting farm fresh eggs, but we hadn't gotten any in the past week. Uh, so I just went ahead and bought two. And even if we get farm fresh eggs, we'll eat them real quickly. Taquitos. My son goes to a box of those. Every week he eats them for lunch at least once or twice and normally makes extra for somebody else in the house. Alright, so we've got um, two Pregos, tomato, basil, garlic, and roasted garlic and herb. I'm not having spaghetti this week, but we used what I had, so I wanted to have some on hand. Um, some instant potatoes. I don't normally make instant potatoes, but since I do what's for dinners, you know, and I'm recording like the main meal, sometimes I just don't feel like making two, you know, real extra sides so like, I don't want to make homemade mashed potatoes when I've been making some special 
braised pork chops or something because it looked like something fun to make. So I got these. I'll doctor them up probably with some extra butter and different things like that. I got this uh, guacamole salsa. I've been seeing it on Instagram. Um, some people that I follow that said it was really good. So I'm going to give it a whirl. We got some picante sauce. I'm going to make a Dorito pie this week. Um, and they, you put salsa in there. My son's not a chunky salsa person. And definitely if I mix it in with that, he'll notice if tomatoes are in there. And he'll be like, yeah, I really like it. So that's more of like a blended salsa. That's the best way to describe it. Uh, bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. Sausage, egg, and cheese croissant. I did grab some breakfast items. There's only two in each of those. I know my son will probably eat the cereal, but I wanted to have other stuff on hand. Oh, we got some steakums. I got two of those. I bought two. One will be fine for us, but I bought two because the time before this that I was there, they were completely out of them. Um, so I wanted to make sure I had them in case they were out of them again. I didn't hoard them. I just bought one extra. My husband was talking about making these for lunch for us one day this week. It's something kind of fun. Uh, hot pepper blend shredded cheese. I've never had this before, but I got it for the Dorito pie. Um, I think the recipe calls for just pepper jack. But I've seen someone make it with hot pepper blend before, and they said it's good. So I was influenced, and I'm going to try it. Uh, we've got some tomatoes on the vine. There's, you know, always have tomatoes. Some English muffins. I've been craving these. For some reason, I really love the sourdough flavor. I'm going to have with some eggs in the morning because I normally don't eat the frozen breakfast. Um, so I was thinking I would make these and like some egg and cheese and tomato. Some green onion probably because I love green onion. An onion just for random things. A bell pepper for dinner this week. Asparagus is a side for dinner. We got some Italian parsley. Uh, some baby bell and mushrooms. Um, normally I get just white mushrooms for recipes, but they were on sale. I got those. Some buttermilk. Um, that's for a stay tuned, a delicious honey hot uh, sandwich. That I'm, a honey hot chicken sandwich I'm going to make this week. Ooh, gonna have to watch my what's for dinner coming out on Saturday to see that. Uh, some almond milk to go with the cereal. Uh, let's see, some turmeric. That's her recipe this week. I've got some grapes, some Doritos or the Dorito pie, pita chips, just to have. Um, I, I, if you saw my last grocery haul, I got the Tex-Mex dip from Kroger, and I've been dipping my pita crackers in it. So I figured I would just get the pita chips, and they'd be even better. Um, let's see, got some two of these. Tilts, they're like the Aldi version um, of whatever. I don't even know what the name brand is called, but I'm sure you know. Uh, I got the Key Lime Crunch because my son loves Key Lime Pie Yogurt. It's like the only over he'll eat. Who knows if he'll even eat that. And then Crazy for Coconut. That sounded good. Obviously not super healthy, but, you know, a nice little treat. I think that he'll like them. I think this has got, like, white chocolate chips in it. Let's see. Ooh, white chocolate chunks and graham crackers. Well, if you don't eat it, I'm going to eat that. Uh, a head of broccoli. That's for dinner this week. I got a thing of thin spaghetti, a thing of regular spaghetti. I do need spaghetti noodles for dinner this week, but the thin spaghetti was just because we were out and I like to keep it on hand. Uh, a gallon Ziploc bags, some tin foil, some Swiss to put on the steak sammies, some shredded carrots, iceberg lettuce for the chicken sandwich that I'm going to make. Brioche buns for the chicken sandwich, and I also have a bag of the red bag chicken in the fridge. So I just went ahead and bought two. I'm going to freeze one of these uh, for whenever we want to have the red bag chicken. That's just good to have on hand. Some wheat bread. I bought like a different kind of wheat bread. Not my last grocery haul, but the grocery haul before that, and it was supposed to be regular. I can't remember what it was. It was just supposed to be like regular, you know, 12 grain wheat bread or whatever, but it tasted like rye. It was very odd, so I just went with some basic whole wheat. I got some hoagies for the steak sandwiches. Uh, some lettuce that I'll cut up myself. Uh, we got some ham and some turkey. A little variation for regular sandwiches. Some very important coffee filters because we were almost out. We 
cannot run out of that. We need the coffee, light sour cream. We always keep that on hand and also I need it for the Dorito pie. Paper plates. I really don't like using these, but you know, we're just all stuck at home and tired of listening to the dishwasher run, to be honest with you. All right, so I need steak for one of my dinners this week. It called for flank steak, but I just bought sirloin because I didn't have flank. So I had one sirloin in my basket and it was for 12, it was for $20. Then I passed by the discounted meat section because it needs to either be frozen or cooked soon. And uh, I found these two bad mammer jammers. Like, look at that. They're so big. Um, for 1977. So obviously I put the other one back. I put this in my basket. So I'm going to figure out when they need to be eaten by. Let's see, it looks like 518. So one of these I can keep in the fridge and the other one I'm going to freeze for a later dinner. Uh, some heavy whipping cream. Some crescent rolls. This is for the taco pie, but I bought two. The I think, I don't think the recipe that I'm using calls for two, but the one that I saw originally calls for two because you make it like a deep dish pie. Um, and I'm only making a regular one, but I went ahead and bought two because, um, these are fun to have for dinner. I don't normally serve bread with dinner um, because uh, I'd eat all the bread. But I went ahead and bought two, and I thought we'd just have one of those rolls for dinner one week, one night, whatever. Unsalted butter. We had I need this for a recipe. We had some in the freezer, but after I use it, we won't have any more left, so I just went ahead and replaced it. Some pork chops. Those are always good to have on hand, and I am cooking pork chops this week. Some ground beef, um, using that for the taco pie, the Dorito pie. Chicken, because I always buy chicken, and we are going to use it for like the chicken sandwiches. Oh, and then back to the steaks. So I think that that is it. So um, stay tuned for right after this. I'm going to have a slide that shows what meals we're going to have for the week, kind of give you an idea of what I'm making with all of this, uh, and also give you a sneak peek into my what's for dinner that will be out Saturday using these ingredients to cook with. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything, but it really, really helps me out so much. And also hit that like button if you like this video because that also helps me out. I hope everyone has a wonderful week and thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this week's grocery haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you do, make sure to hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe. Have a great week.